Hi everyone, this is Satya Abhiram Varma from CHD department, Annal Institute of Technology. Today we are going to discuss about how to deploy a Python project using Python Anywhere platform. In our Python project we use uh, Python files, HTML, CSS files and we had used uh, Web Framework Flask and uh, now we are going to deploy our project in Python Anywhere platform uh, because it is free and we don't need any dockers and uh, cloud for it to deploy in python anywhere platform uh, we can create only one project and publish it but uh, if you want to create more you can just have to create another account and you can publish more in it uh, because it gives you free domain and you can use it for free if you want to publish more uh, you will have to purchase uh, their membership because uh, it will give you give you the access to uh, to publish more projects in it Python Anywhere is the page Python development and hosting environment. It provides an easy and convenient way to write, run and deploy Python code directly from your web browser. Uh, in Python Anywhere, there are some key features which are, which are like online IDE, web hosting, scheduled tasks, database support, Python version, cell access, uh, collaborative features and their benefits are accessibility, easy of use, no setup required. Here you can see this is Python in our website. Uh, this is dashboard. Uh, in dashboard, we can see uh, what percentages uh, are we using CPU's usage and file storage. Uh, this is uh, this is our website uh, domain agramarmapythonanywhere.com. Uh, here you can see what files uh, are we uploaded and uh, anything. Now we are going to console. In console, uh, there is a bash. Which, uh, which is like a comment prompt uh, that we are using uh, regularly in, in our uh, windows. Uh, in command prompt, uh, uh, we can install our libraries using a uh, window already pip install. Uh, we can uh, uh, download them uh, by writing the command. And uh, now, uh, in files, uh, these are the files uh, that we uh, these are the already loaded files. And you, here you can see this is my site. Uh, go to the directory. Uh, okay. Uh, these are these are our files uh, which we have already uploaded. And uh, so this is, these are only uh, like uh, dot python files. And uh, we want if you want to see templates, you can create a templates directory, and you can see uh, these many files are uh, then uh, templates and. Okay, uh, I, ha I have already published this uh, project, so we can see the domain abhiramavarma.pythonanywhere.com So, okay, I'll leave it. Now, go down. Okay, uh, these are the, the, this is the directory of our uh, source code and working directory of the source code. Uh, okay, go down. Uh, we can we use uh, 3.10 uh, python version and uh, in error log and server log uh, we can see what type of errors uh, are coming and uh, go yeah this, this yeah this is my website which i already uh, published uh, go back Uh, I have sorted already. We can use this for three months only. If you want to use it, use it for further, you can uh, come here and uh, click this button. Run only three months from today, and uh, that date from that date, the another three months will be added. So we are going to our website again. This one. Yeah. Uh, in this website, uh, you can see. Uh, chartbot, EDA and uh, GPA calculator. Okay, this is the description of our uh, project and uh, how to deploy Python uh, Python uh, projects in uh, Python Anywhere platform. Now I am going to explain further process in computer screen uh, about uh, how to deploy a Python project in Python Anywhere. Uh, here is my Python project. Let's see if it's working or uh, on local server or not. Click the run button.
let's see okay i'm going to add a title which is project yeah it's working i think yeah it's working uh, quickly roll back to your python web website uh, i have already created a account on this uh, if you want to create new account uh, click on the sign up button uh, click the create a beginner account uh, your username and your uh, project name should be same uh, this is so important yeah add your details here uh, but i am going to click on the login button because i have account on already yeah it is the dashboard uh, now click the web button uh, add a new web app uh, if you want to change the domain name uh, like uh, if you want to change your domain name uh, you will have to purchase their membership but we don't need that so click on the next button uh, i'm using flask web framework so i'm clicking on that uh, now currently i'm using python 3.12 uh, but in this there is no python 3.12 so i'm using python latest version this is a directory where the file should be exist click on the next button it taking a while okay uh, okay now go to the file section yeah you will have to go this is the my site uh, directory which is which python anywhere already created so click on that it taking a while yeah i have already uploaded these so let's delete them Now quick, uh, get back to the file section. Now click on the my site. Uh, upload your project here. Um, where is my project here? Yeah. Uh, you will have to upload them one by one. Uh, yeah. For templates like HTML and CSS loaded files you have to create a new directory templates now you will have to upload a file which is a uh, html and css i am using only html so i am uploading it now go, go back to the my site here you can see our uh, python project uh, and go to the console uh, yeah click on the bash it is like a cmd but it's working on their uh, cloud now you will have to create a virtual environment mk virtual env space now you have to uh, add a name to the virtual environment it is the your choice um, i'm adding it double k flask with a double k add the python version also if you don't don't add the python version it will choose randomly no no i am using python 3.10 so i am adding it
it's taking a while okay it's working now go to the project and the there are some libraries which, which are flask and uh, flask sql so uh, install them in in our server using the command pip install yeah it's done now install another 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 one also now install another library also okay successfully installed now roll back to your website now go to the web section let's see if it's working or not uh, every time you change the anything in this website you have to reload this and check it's working or not no it's not working okay go back yeah uh, it's checking our working directory our source code directory and working directory should be same okay go back to the file section here you can see um, virtually an uh, environment was created here with the name of flask with double k and here you can see our install libraries also quickly go, go back and go to the web web button yeah uh, click on the WSGA configuration file. Uh, here you can you will have to change some something on this. Our project file is app.py, so I'm adding this and save the save the. Yeah, uh, you will have to add the name of the virtual environment, which is Flask with double K. Yeah. Now reload this. It's taking a while. Okay. Now you, now you can see the project has been deployed already. Uh, to see to see the project I now click on this button or this link yeah uh, it's it's successfully deployed uh, let's see if it's working or not let's add a title it's taking well uh, yeah it's working uh, now click the update button it's working properly yeah it's working properly if you want to use this link uh, for in further further usage you can go to the google or chrome and type this uh, domain and uh, you can use it for free for three months and if you want to use it further you can have to click the run button which is the which is in the web, web page of their python anywhere website okay uh, for every three three months you you will have to click on this button it will add three months from from that date yeah if you have any doubts on this video you can go to the comment section and uh, ask the question on the comment section. Thank you.